Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. I want to talk about the three most common signs of an L3 pinched nerve in the low back. Now, we hear about pinched nerve, herniated discs, uh, and things like that, or slip discs, bulging discs, uh, and we hear about sciatica. Sciatica is a descriptive word basically saying that there is pain going down the leg, usually down the back of the leg, but again, it's a descriptive word. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't give you a diagnosis, okay? So in order to try to figure out which level it is, um, sometimes we do some different tests, okay? And this is something simple that you can even try at home to see if you have an L3 pinched nerve in your back, okay? L4, L5, S1 are the most common, um, but L3 can happen on occasion. It just doesn't follow a very easy pattern to find like the others are. So the first thing that I look for is, you know, pain going down the leg. Does the pain follow this pattern that kind of crosses over the top of the thigh and goes down toward the inside of the knee a little bit? Now, the first thing I like to check is sensation. Do we have equal sensation to touch in this area, right on the center of the thigh here, basically going in toward the inside of the knee, okay? So we test that. We ask if there's a, a difference, and if this one is stronger than that one, that could be one of the signs of an L3 nerve root compression or pinched nerve. The next thing I like to do is I like to test the quadriceps strength because that is controlled by the L3 nerve root. So I'll go to the good side first, I'll hold the leg there, and I'll ask them to hold, 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 and he gives me good resistance and then I'll try it on this side and if he gives out then I have to be somewhat suspicious that there's an L3 nerve root compression also. These folks will complain of the inability to get up out of a chair or maybe descend stairs and as they're going down it feels like the leg is going to be giving out a little bit. So that is something that if we do suspect an L3 um, they could be very disabled by this or, you know, uh, you can have a lot of loss of function with this along with all the pain that comes along with it. And so the other thing is that L3 does not have a classic reflex like you would over here, which is L4 or in the calf, which is S1. Um, and they don't typically have the same like straight leg raise test when we put some tension on this. So what we will do is have you go on your stomach with your head over there is something called the flexed the prone knee flexion test. And basically, if the left side was the non-painful side, we would basically put him flat like this. We would put a little pressure here just to make sure that he doesn't compensate with his pelvis. And I just slowly bend the knee like this. I ask the patient, what do you feel? And typically, it's a feeling of stretch on the front of the thigh. Now, what I'll do is I will do this side, and if this is the affected side, usually between 80 to 100 degrees, that pain is gonna be significantly worse than the other side. And they'll also have like a reproduction of even sometimes some low back discomfort if they have low back pain associated with the discomfort that goes down their leg, okay? So I may not be able to push them up quite as far to get that reproduction of, of their common symptoms, okay? So you can easily do this yourself. You can just bend your knee and see how far you get, see what that feels like, and then you can do the affected side and see if you can get as far or if the pain is, you know, quite intense. So that's called the prone knee flexion test. So those would be the three big things, a loss of sensation, a loss of quadricep thigh strength, and pain with this test right here. So I can let you go ahead and sit right up. So those are all of the most common signs of an L3 nerve root compression. Um, if you suspect that you have that, you're having a lot of discomfort, you really should seek out some medical attention. I will also have a video uh, in this video up here just so that you can take a look at it to see what patients who actually have an L3 nerve root compression look like. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.